So Transact today, primarily um, a vaccine biller on the pharmacy side, right? So helping pharmacies bill their vaccines to the medical side. So where are we going? Where are we going from there? So um, we actually used to provide a, a full set of, of medical billing service for pharmacies. And that part of our business was larger than it is, it is right now. Um, but just for our business purposes, without getting mostly, you know, we were a small private company and it all had to do with, uh, with profit um, margin. And so the um, uh, billing for immunizations in pharmacies, there's uh, just a higher profit margin than the other, other services. They're much Fair. more complex. It takes a lot more labor to, to bill for. So that's how we ended up there. But um, we, uh, I was very excited. I, I actually, we got involved um, with Red Sale because I've known Mike McManus for I don't know how long. Everybody knows years Mike. Or, you know, for 20-something uh, years and was talking to Red Sale about partnering and becoming a distribution partner for the um, for the service. And we started mm -hmm. talking about the roadmap of the services and starting with immunizations that that turned into the conversation went so well. Now we're, you know, sister companies inside of uh, we of, of Red Sale. <laughs> yes, everybody, so. everybody knows Mike McManus. It's, it's almost becoming like that. Everybody knows Dave joke. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. So where are we going? So, so. Um, the, the way to get the service launched quicker and become more integrated in with uh, Red Sale and with mm -hmm. Pioneer and, and QS1 was to continue offering what we were already doing yep. and getting that rolled out. Um, we are adding back in over the next, I'll say six months to at the, the longest nine months of all of the other um, medical benefit covered services um, back the DME supplies, the nebulizer inhaler drugs, Part B covered drugs, and then general mm -hmm. HME, DME um, services. There's a big change going on in the DME billing, medical billing world that has to do without getting too technical and business wise, has to do with attachments. Medical billing has always been a big hassle when it has to do with submitting attachments, other information to claims. In the mm -hmm. pharmacy world, you send a real-time claim, you get a response back, it's all electronic. Not so much in the medical billing world, there's still a lot of paper involved. The government right. finally is moving in the right direction and getting rid of a bunch of this paper and changing a bunch of the billing methods that has to do with DME as of January 1st. So okay. we're lining up the services not to have to make a big switch right when we first get started. So right after the first of the year, we'll be adding back in at least DME supplies. So we'll probably be doing DME supplies, the nebulizer inhaler and drugs and Part B covered um, drugs in January and then quickly moving on and, and back into the full set of other HME DME services within the within the first part of the year.